Hi friends, welcome to my channel Be Yourself. Today I will deal with energetics of living body. I have chosen this uh, topic because generally student doesn't understand how much have to write in this topic. Where to start and where to end. Actually students will start with the ultimate source, source of energy and end with the final production of uh, energy which is consumed in our body that is ATP. So let's begin. All living organisms need energy to carry out mechanical, electrical and osmotic work which constitute the life process of an organism. Uh, we know that sun is the ultimate source of energy and it passes its energy to plant by the process of photosynthesis. Other or living organisms consume plants for harvesting energy. The end product of uh, photosynthesis is glucose which uh, we consume but we can't metabolize glucose in single step because if we will uh, burn glucose in lab condition it require very high temperature which our body can't metabolize for this there is a stepwise process for the metabolism of glucose at very low temperature uh, first of all glucose will convert it to pyruvate and NADH in the cytoplasm by the process of glycolysis in glycolysis of the 686,000 calories contained in a mole of glucose, only 10% can be released during glycolysis. Then, pyruvate by decarboxylation will change to acetyl coenzyme A and which combine with oxaloacetate and will enter in the mitochondria and by the process of uh, or we can say by Krebs cycle it will convert it to carbon dioxide and water and then this will finally enter to the ETC which is electron transport chain where ATP is formed. In aerobic respiration 38 molecules are produced from each glucose molecules. So let's first uh, see what the energetics of glucose or how much molecules is produced during glycolysis. Uh, glucose plus 2 NAD positive plus 2 ATP plus 2 PI will form 2 molecules of uh, a pyruvate weight in which 2 molecules of ATP is produced. Uh, here 2 molecules of NAD is produced which will also ultimately lead to the final, final uh, finally converted to, and to ATP. And in Krebs cycle, we will see here that uh, the end product is 2, uh, 3 NAD, uh, DH, FADS2, uh, GTP, which also converted to uh, ATP. During respiration, breakdown of glucose in presence of oxygen, uh, several intermediates are produced. Each oxidative in each oxidation step uh, involves two molecules of hydrogen which will taken by NAD positive or FAD to NADS2 or FADS2 which will finally reduce oxygen to water molecule. NADH and oxygen has different redox potential so it cannot combine directly with oxygen to form water. To facilitate this transfer many intermediate redox potential are assembled to carry out electron transport chain. The electron is transported down to the energy gradient through electron transport system leads to the formation of ATP by a process known as oxidative phosphorylation. The role of protons in the mechanism of phosphorylating uh, oxidation was suggested by P. Maskell and proposed a theory known as osmot uh, chemosmotic theory and on the basis of this theory ATP is formed. So have a look over it. Uh, first of all NAD is converted to NAD positive which, uh, which transports it, uh, its uh, hydrogen to intermembrane space of mitochondria by the help of proton pump. Then some of the, of the hydrogen is pumped back by ATP synthase uh, and in, during this process it will, act, it will lead to the conversion of ADP to ATP and this is the ultimate source in our body which we can consume which we can use for our mechanical work and here we have the energetics in our energy in our body and this whole uh, process from the start to end 
we uh, we use it as the uh, energy production is uh, included in the topic energetics of the living body hope this uh, video has helped you to understand this topic for more videos subscribe and share and uh, it's uh, and always be yourself